Hi, thank you for joining me. I'm excited to share this castle template with you. I love how it turns out, and I'm sure you will enjoy the project as much as I have. It is a beautiful decoration for a girl's room. Here, I put fairy lights in, and it is just stunning. It can also be used as a treat box. I designed insert boxes to make it easy to take out the treats inside. There are some surprises behind the gate. These cute accessories surely will make some little princesses very happy. There are many details in this design, so it is not a quick project. The download link is in the description. In order to make the assembly easy to understand, I have divided the design into five files. Just follow the number order to cut and assemble. There are five Studio 3 files for Cameo and five SVG files for Quicker. Upload the number one base SVG into design space. You can see the main piece here is not straight. The reason is tilted because it's so it can fit in top by top cutting mate. So I try to use it to the maximum. We are going to change the lines from cut line to score line. Right click and ungroup. Click an object. You can see on the right hand side, the basic cut. Click the first layer only. Go to the top here change the score then click the item again the item and the score lines they are in the same group we just need to attach them together go to the bottom here and attach same as this one we click the, the wall here click the top layer only score click again and then click attach the lip the gate here, you also need to change this to score line. I'm going to move it away from and That's it. Click, change to score line. Click again, both layers are selected. Click attach. We are going to click make it to continue. First page will be the gate. Second and third page, they can be combined into one. Just move around, move object. So this way we save one page. All look good. And we save one page. Just into, click continue and set up your scoring tool. There are three pieces for the base. Uh, we'll, go, we'll start with the biggest one. Four along the folding line. The whole piece should look like this. We are going to close it to make it like a box. Apply glue here. Align the edge properly. Same the other side. Go here. Apply glue on all the tabs on the top. Press front inside to secure the glue. Look at this. Next, we are going to do last two for the gauge. And then you can see there are some score line here. We're going to fold it for the first one toward you, and second one backward. 
the first one toward you, second one backward, and third one backward, and the last one toward you. Basically, it's fold the handle part like this. And we will apply glue here, make it a T. Make sure the end of this aligned here. So we're gonna squeeze it after we apply glue. Make it like a T, a T at the front. Along here first and push. Squeeze and push. So align this, this part and squeeze it. I'm going to wipe off the extra glue. This is the door handle. I'm going to put it aside make sure the glue is dry, otherwise it might stick to something else. Later on we are going to glue this on and then put the handle through this hole here. For this wall piece there's a folding line here. For Apply glue at the back, don't put glue on the handle, just on the gauge. I'm gonna wipe off the extra glue so we can see door handle thing this hole here and lock it. Next we are going to attach the wall to the base. So you can see the door here and the hole here so align those two parts glue like this it's better put glue on this side because the wall is actually the wall is taller than the base so put glue on this side Line the door frame and the hole for the door handle. Attach them together. And insert the door handle in. It should look like this. Just give it a good tap from inside. Make sure the glue is secure. Now we are able to open the door and close the door. Now upload number two towers SVG file into design space. If you are using Camel, you just need to follow the file number order. Make it smaller. I don't know why this is far away from the others. I'm going to right click on group. These are the window frames. Those are the two towers for the cast. This is the shorter tower. And this is a tower tower at the back. Those are the inside box. So we're going to change all the score lines. Click one object and click the top layer. Change the score. Click again and attach. Same as the rest. Change to scroll. Click again. Both layers are selected. Attach. I have the right amount of the window frame number. We don't need to worry about. For those two, we will need two set of each. So select four of them. Right click and duplicate. So we have total two short towers and two tall towers and two short inside boxes and two long inside boxes all good click make it to continue come to the prepare page we can also move around bit to save some pages so like page three and four we can combine them together they're exactly the same i'm going to move around rotate 
click Move Up, Move Object to page three, and number five. You can't do anything. Number six, seven, eight, and nine. We are able to come back together. Then just rotate it, Move Object. So we save one more page. All look good. Just click continue. Choose your cardstock weight, and then choose your scoring tool. I'm using scoring stylus here. Apply. Here are all the parts for the tower. We will make four towers: two short one and two tall one at the back. Two shorter boxes, two longer boxes. Also, we have the all the window frame here. <coughs> we'll start with the box. It's pretty straightforward for all the folding lines. Close the two ends together. Glue the two ends together. Seal the bottom. Use a ruler to press from inside to secure those glue tabs. The first box is done. Repeat the same to the rest. We done all the four boxes. When putting aside, we are going to make a tower. So the one with pallet going is the bottom. Same as the box, just fold the folding lines first. After fold all the score lines, go on the window frame first. Friends are on. Pull the two ends together just like the inside box. Seal the bottom. So ruler to secure the tab. The first tower is done. This one is the front towers, same as the back towers. Fold the folding lines first. Go on all the windows. So I'll seal the two ends. Seal the bottom. Now we made the two towers. Repeat the same step to the other two. We have finished all the towers and the box. So we'll put those aside for now. And move on to the next step. Upload the tarot SVG into design space. Make it smaller. Right click on group. Those light blue panels, they are the decorative panels for the roof. They are four sets here. Each set contains six panels. 
you don't need to worry about them and this one are the flags for all the towers there are 10 flags here 8 flags for the towers we have just made there will be two extra flags they are for later on the main tower and you can see there are little dot line on the flags they are the cut lines and they have been attached to the flags so we don't need to worry anything about them the blue panel here is the roof we need to change the cut line to score click on the blue panel and just click the top layer only go to the top change to score click the item again both layer both layers are selected click attach same as the tower here change the top layer to score click again and attach them together we will need four towers for the four towers we have made select both of them right click duplicate now we have two sets select all of them right click and duplicate now we have four sets of roofs and turrets that's all good click make it continue come to the prepare page the first page and the second page are the decorative panels for the roof we can combine them into one right click and move object to page one move around a bit double check nothing overlap each other they just fit in one page nicely and the page 3 and page 4 can combine into one as well I'm moving all the object from page 4 to page 3 one more just to rotate a bit we save another page page 5 and page 6 for the turret we can combine them all in one as well just need to rot rotate it and moving page 6 item to page 5 we'll move objects page 5 and one more I'm going to rotate it first click move object choose page 5 make sure nothing overlap each other all look good we save another page page 7 is for the flag so all look good and we'll send to cut here are everything for the turret and we should have four pieces of the turret decorative panels for the roofs and four pieces for the roof ten flags uh, we only need eight at the moment there will be two extra flags they are for the main castle later we're going to make the <coughs> roof first first of all Go all the folding lines first. We are going to glue, glue the roof together like this and then put the flag on the top. So put the decorative panel on first but leave the second panel and the fifth one empty. So remember put second one and the fifth one we don't put the decorative panels. Apply glue on all the decorative panel. Make sure to apply glue at the, the top end so it doesn't flick out. Skip the second one, continue the third one. Okay. 
Skip the next one, continue this one. Continue the number six panel. Apply glue here. Seal the two ends together. We have the roof look like this. Grab two flags. Grab two that's our mirror image. And there's a little cut. There's a little cut on the flag. Bend it upward. Same as the other one. The cut here. Bend it upward. And it's the other way. So the two flags should be like this. Glue together but not the end. Apply glue only on top of the cut mark. The flag should look like this. Apply glue here. Attach the glue on top of the roof. The tower roof. Stick it on both ends like this. Use the decorative panel to cover. Send to the other side. Wipe off the extra glue. That's one roof done. Continue to make the rest. We've done all the roofs. We are going to move on to the turrets. We have the two flags left. They are for the main castle later. To make the turrets form along the skull lines first. It should look like this. Glue the two ends together. Fold all the glue tabs outward. Push the polygon down. Apply glue on this side of the glue tabs. Hold down the glue tabs. Turn it around. Give it a good tap from the other side. Look like this. Grab a towel. Put the towel through the towel. Fold down the glue tabs inside. Apply glue. Fold the glue tabs to the other direction. Give it a good press to attach to the tower. The tower should look like this. Continue to make the rest. Now we make all four towers. We're going to move on to the main castle. And the main castle will go into this hole here. And the all the towers arrangement will be like this later on. Move on to the next file. 004 castle. Upload the castle SVG into design space.
this is the main castle in the middle. The structure is same to the four towers we have just built, only in size it's slightly bigger. Right click and ungroup. You can see all the elements are similar to the ones we just built. Uh, six decorative panels for the roof, move them aside. Three window frames, move them aside. We are going to change the score lines. Click the tower and click the top layer only. Go to the top and change the score. Click again and click attach to combine. Same as the roof, change the top layer to score. Click again and attach the two elements. The box. The tower. Attach. All set. Click make it to continue. Page one is for the inside box. Page two and three, we are able to combine them into one page. Page two, page two. Good. Save one page. Page four. Good. Page five. Open and we will <coughs> and we will click continue to set uh, the material and the scoring tool. Here are all the cutouts for the castle. We have um, the box inside, the castle, towers, the roof, and six decorative panels for the roof, two flags from previous cut, and three window frames. We have assembled the towers before. The assembly is very similar to the towers, just the size is slightly bigger. We we'll start with the insert box, four along the folding line. Glue the two ends together first. Seal the bottom. Use a ruler to press from inside. Double check the bottom align properly. The insert box is done. Next is a castle. Stick all the window frames first. Those windows are looking cute. Seal the two ends. I'm going to seal the bottom. Apply glue on all the glue tabs. Make sure the bottoms align. Oh, yep, slip down. Times over. Use a ruler to press from inside. Now we'll make the turret. Fold along the folding line. Seal the two ends. And the tabs backward. Push down the polygon. Apply glue on this side of the glue tabs. Hold the glue tabs back. Turn it over. Put it on a flat surface. Give it a good press. Now the tower is done. Grab the tower. Go through. Put the tower through the tower. Apply glue on this side of glue tabs. Then all the glue tab backwards. 
take the turret to level up with the top of the tower give it a good press along the way now the main castle tower is down too next we are going to fold the roof Like the roof before, there are seven panels. Glue the decorative panels on. Make sure apply glue at the corner, the top end. Leave the second panel for now. Continue glue the third and fourth panel. Leave number five, glue the number six panel. Apply glue on the last panel, we'll glue the roof together. Glue the two flags together. Bend where the card mark is. Apply glue to where the card mark is. Leave this. Don't, don't apply glue under the card mark. Glue the flags together like this. Apply glue at the bottom of the flag. Glue the last two decorative panels on to cover the flag. Now the roof is done. File number five accessories. Yay, the last one. Upload it into design space. I'm going to right click on group first uh, you can see three panels here there are two card lines right in the middle they are attached to the panel so they are not score line we don't need to change them click this one here click the top layer only change it to score and click again click attach this is the only elements in this file that need to change to score line. Accessory here, they are basically just layer on cardstock. You can see there are different layers for the lipstick and same as the mirror. For the yellow part, I would suggest use foil cardstock to, to give it the metal look. Click make it to continue to cut. Here are all the cutouts for the accessory. We just need to, they are very tiny but we just need to stack them together. So basically it's like this for the mural. Find the matching elements first and we'll glue them together later. Three folding lines here, just fall in. So fold in like this. This will be hiding inside the door. We're gonna actually fold in like this. So folding inside the door, you can fold in like this. So when the door open you come out like this. Okay? And those three goes on top. Going this way, in the same direction you want. Use the spatula to go through the middle to loosen up the two cut lines. When glue them up, don't apply glue in the middle. I'm gonna wait for the glue to dry and I'll do I'll lose another middle bit again. Just need to assemble this little decoration. Come 
cute is this mirror? Oh my god! <laughs> Cute are they? I'm gonna use a spatula to move some other middle bit again. It's easier for us to insert accessory. Just need to pull it through. How cute are they? Oh my god! <laughs> so we are going to hide them inside the castle. This. Now we have all our elements, four towers, two small, two shorter one, two taller one, the base, the main tower, and the accessory. We are going to put them together. You get the castle, make sure the lower window is facing the front. You apply glue at the bottom and then put the towers through the hole here. Press from the top. You can open the door and see it's inside. Next, we're going to apply. It. We're going to glue this in. When we open the door, we will be able to see those beautiful accessories. For now, just put them, push them back in and close them. And then we'll glue the towels together one by one. You see the angle here? Like over here. Make sure the three windows are facing the front, so this one has no window. You go attach to it to the base. From the front we are able to see all the windows. Now the back towers. It's around apply glue here. And make sure the side with two windows facing outside. So from the front, this window should be seen from the front. So one window here and two windows facing the side and then one window face the other side. Attach together. Same to the other side. Three window sides facing the front. This is the front. Turn to the side. The last one is here in this corner. So this one is facing outside and then this one is facing out. Two windows facing out. So just from the front. So I'm gonna go like this. Go together. So on the side the two windows will be facing out. Now we have glued everything together just just the flag, we want them to face to the same direction. This is it! We have made a castle! What a beautiful achievement! Sometimes I wonder why I have to make things difficult for myself, make such complicated design, but this stunning castle is definitely worth the time and effort. Hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching!